Back on the monster trail and we're putting it back together again and um, it's coming along nicely. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Lunacy. Uh, if you enjoy it, please tell others so uh, they can uh, join in the fun. And uh, if you haven't already, do subscribe. Back on the monster. And I'm pretty sure in a metric imperial mix-up, I ordered two foot, which is the length of my granddad's ruler, um, of 22, 20 mil. And, um, yeah, seemed to have a little bit extra. Bonus. Yeah, excessive. <laughs> and, honestly, it's a little bit big. Uh, I did measure it. And, um, obviously, I can clamp it down. But um, it's a nice product. It's a lovely product. I have to say that. And I've got lots of it. So that's good. Something to put in the parts bin as opposed to the uh, that bin. And actually, I um, I had uh, eighteen bucks worth of credit at O'Reilly's, uh, so I popped in there and bought some three quarter inch, two foot or three quarter inch, which um, I think should be a better fit. So I'll be using that. Much better, perfect fit for the. Um oil catch tank thing just using a little wobbly there to screw that back in place and a rather long extension I was hoping that I could um, root that over the top uh, rather than down below where all the heat is but um, yeah it's gonna be too steep an angle to then come back and into that so uh, we're gonna have to pull it out and root it down there yeah uh, we've got the wrap on there and we've got the other overflow pipe there so it's okay yeah so that didn't work neither um so coming back over the top and um because that kinked up here in that gap there which is a real shame it just um just you know flattened off kinked like that so that's no good um I am thinking we're going to have to mount it under the light here, but I don't know if we've got enough room before we start getting involved with tyres and things. Another bracket off the back, so it sits there maybe, because that will work. Yeah, see, not collapsing at any point, which is what we want. I think what I'm going to do is undo that from its little mount which will still be a license plate mount, um, and actually connect up the hose, bearing in mind I can cut it if I need to, uh, make it shorter, uh, and then just kind of see where this might land sensibly to mount. At the moment I've got a couple of choices. It's either there, um, marginal clearance on the wheel, with suspension travel involved uh, or slightly further over no big deal or who says this thing's got to be upright I mean I know that's kind of the way it's designed but you know this is airtight so why couldn't I potentially mount it Something like that. Yeah? Couldn't I do that? Could I do that? I think I'm going to do that. If you know this to be a stupid idea, please let me know in the comments. Uh, it'll be several months later, but um, <laughs> I probably won't have gone far. So, um, yes, do let me know if that is a really crappy idea, because that's what I'm going to do right now. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just catching oil vapour and the old spot of oil, if any at all. Um, so, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Well, it's a little precarious at the moment, but that's pretty much what I have in mind, unless I can come up with something better.
Which I probably will. There we go. For now, I'm actually thinking um, when I get the seat back, if I get the seat back, um, that slots under those two sections on the left and right. And then the tank, the fuel tank, is mounted on that midsection. What I'm thinking is I could probably just pull out a nice square sheet metal um, from there. You know, just bit, just long enough to uh, fit that that way around. If you get get what I mean. Looking at the hose, then what would that look like? Yeah, the hose would come in nice and straight under there. I think that's what I'm going to aim to do. Hopefully before one of you guys leaves the comment, like, you can't do that, you idiot. Yeah, this is definitely a temporary solution. I'm going to run a mount off the back of that fuel tank mount. Yes, yeah, so we're back on this and I've already found a solution. So I've put some longer bolts in there so that they protrude nicely. And I found these. Um, I think they're part of a seatbelt kit, actually. And um, would you believe it? What are the chances? Um, when they overlap properly, I'll do this while I'm reading it, like that, roughly, um, those two bolt holes line up perfectly <laughs> with that fuel tank. And that gives me a adjustable thing so I can get two nuts in there. Perfect. Possibly not quite perfect. It turns out um, that might be just a little bit too narrow. We'll find out once we uh, undo it all again. Yeah, tedious. The result just goes through. There's one in place. I just want to see where everything's going to end up, really, at this point. Yeah, neat idea though it was. Uh, it's just not long enough. Um, that's a shame, because that's about, it needs to be actually about here bummer start again actually it needs to be about there that would be ideal i have another cunning plan and there we have it yes i shall bolt that into place and cut the tube there much better nice job even if i do say so myself like it Okay, now we need a bloody seat. License plate mounted. We are officially, um, yeah, kind of legal. Yeah. Good enough. Couldn't find any bits of pieces or anything that did the job for the Ducati backlight. So, we are going to be cutting it out of some new sheet metal eyeball. And, um, Old batteries come in very handy, especially large flat ones like it was on the 748. So that'll hold that in place. And my um, my weapon of choice this time is a jigsaw. A little metal blade on it. Should get a decent line. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew that was too good to be true. It was a butt dial. Anyway, before we're so rudely interrupted um, by Derek's butt. Uh, yeah, look, there we go. Nice, shiny, zing, zing. Now we just need to mark it up and work out how we're going to fit that. I'm thinking nine inch nails. Um, no, not that very overrated band actually, in my humble opinion. Lovely, bolted in place. Now you may remember that these are interfering potentially with the, uh, with the Perspex block. But I figured what we could do Let's put some of these spaces in, lovely spaces, yeah. So, problem solved, all round, yeah. Well, apart from the fact that it's wonky, and I think we can see why. Really? I bloody measured that, wow, what the hell. So yeah, those spaces are a little bit too much actually, and um, so I'll get some smaller ones. In fact, I've probably got some plastic ones. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get that whole bloody sorting out so it's the right, yeah, square. And um, let's light it up, baby. All just finger tight at the moment, but um, we're getting there. Slightly less wonky. A little bit more adjustment required. Yeah, and I think it's just a little bit wobbly. Um, not wonky, wobbly. Different kind of whoop. Um, 
Yeah, so unfortunately I might need to put another bolt through there just to... I don't know if it's going to make much difference though because I think it's that. So, it can wobble. That'll get people's attention, won't it? By the way, these are the spacers. Uh, recycling the boys that came out of, the, um, out of these. Uh, not those, obviously, because they're still in there, but the uh, the ones that aren't there anymore. Yes, do you wonky fight? Uh, finger tight, and I think ready to um, take off the protective stuff. Because this bike is finished, I just need the bloody seat. Which is kind of ironic that uh, Derek just bugged at me, because I'd like to put my butt on the seat that I gave him. I even have a potential buyer. Yes, uh, my friend Dan. Dan, Dan, the Datsun man. No, he's a chiropractor. Um, anyway, yeah, I was talking about the monster and he's like, hmm, yeah, that sounds interesting. There it is in all its glory. Ready to go on. This is exciting. Well, for me anyway. So, skip back a few episodes and um, yes, HVAC tape is coming into play to take that to the back of that yeah just sticking down the top edge still got the stuff there and now i'm going to put the light fitting in there and seal it all up how bloody sexy is that better make sure they still work i guess whoa that is so cool <laughs> that is so fucking cool I love my light. Bear in mind this is in the light. How cool is that, man? And in the dark for full effect. A little darkish. Ah, so cool, man. That is just... If you can't tell, I'm very pleased with my um, inventiveness. Yep. Just waiting for the seat, and this baby is on the road. I'm just on my way back from Derek's. I've picked up some exciting bits to complete two projects, effectively. Um, yes, I have the seat for the Ducati, the elusive seat, and I have uh, the exhaust pipes that he has welded on the bits that avoid burning my butt so I'm excited to be putting those back on those two bikes and uh, potentially have a buyer for the Ducati. How about that? Yeah! And in here we have the elusive seat. I oh, know it's going to be a great reveal an unveiling. Um, actually it's kind of okay. Could do better. We shall see. And there it is uh, in situ. So yeah, I think I need to do something to tidy up this rear end. Which was something I'd obviously considered. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to get busy, especially if Dan wants to buy the bike. I'm mm. itching to take it for a ride actually, but it's nearly 100 degrees outside and I just can't bring myself to do it. Uh, so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow. Um, very patient of me. Lovely. Now I just need to put the springs back on and uh, bolt them up and put the seat on and then we're going to go for another test ride on this because um, we wiggled the fuel thing around and we think we've cured the leak. We're not quite sure. So I got to the point where I was thinking of shifting the license plate up from there uh, to cover the back of the seat and then I remembered I had that. Yeah, uh, it used to be red. I think it used to be in the Bel Air originally on the original switch panel in the centre console and um, yeah it, look it's perfect I looked at that gap and it's like yeah that'll fit I haven't wedged it all the way up there but it will fit and there's something to bolt it onto job done well I don't know I don't think that does do the job it does fit. I had to shave it down a little bit. It fits, but it's kind of this bit. I need it to marry up with that bottom plate that's supporting the light. So, um, yes, back to the drawing board. Yeah, like that. It's uh, bigger because now there's a gap at the top. Bummer. X.
Except it's not a bummer because I could crease that metal plate just a little bit at the right angle and mount it on that and that would do the job perfectly. Which means you've got to take all that out. What a pain. But it will work. So um, I suppose I better get on with it. Oh, and then there's that again. Yes, <laughs> I'm determined to use it at some point. Um, well, apart from the Alpine, um, but hey, MV have just bought out an Alpine version. Um, I can bring out my own Alpine version. Uh, I kind of like that. <coughs> Needs a little bit of work. It kind of does the job. I don't know. I might be able to make it look good. It's just all rough around the edges, that's the problem. Nah, I keep coming back to this. I need to do that. I need to crease that bottom plate um, right there. Right there. Yes, right there. And um, do that, I think. Time to take this baby out for a test run, I think. smoking quite a lot and the more I look at this the more I think I need to put some kind of little cowling on the back as opposed to just that abrupt finish and talking of abrupt finishes I think we'll call it a day for today and this episode so um, I thought it might be the last episode of the Ducati but it's not finished yet is it no story of my life um, yes so <laughs> thanks for watching as usual if you haven't already, please subscribe and encourage others to watch my lunacy.